What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to Beyond the 90. Very special video for you today. Trying something a little bit different, trying to edit these kind of videos instead of going live. But let me know what you think, as you can tell by the title down below. I mean, it's Samore. He's new and linked. The rumors have been flying around since February. In this video, I'm going to go into who he is, what he does, what position he plays, some interesting analysis into comparing to what the players that we have from the squad, some more key characteristics, and also looking at how he could fit into the squad as well. So make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And beyond that, let's get straight into it. So has he signed yet? No, but this is the information that we know so far. So A, he's signed till 2026 on a five-year deal. B, it will be an evaluation, I think, of about 23 to 25 million euros or 20 million pounds. He's going to be the medical is still unknown, so we'll have to see about what happens in that case. But the January transfer window opens today, so anything can happen from now on. He's finished with the Euros with the under-23 squads as they were knocked out in the semi-finals. So we know that he's not going to have too much of a busy summer. And he's a tall player. Six foot two, we're going to need some heading height. More on that a little bit later. One meter 88. He's one of the starred players that's been linked with quite a few clubs. Less City have done fantastic business to try and get him in. Again, it's not confirmed, but with the likes of Fabrizio Romano reminding us and play and people like um, John Percy as well, we know that he's definitely coming. So what kind of player is he? Well, he's a box-to-box -box kind of midfielder. Very physical, very dynamic, very good at reading the ball and can run from box-to-box. -box. Means Plays mainly as a CDM. At Lille at the moment, he's playing as a pivot in a 4-4-2 alongside another player. And this is how allows him to go forwards and backwards. He more stays on the defensive side, so he will be coming against the likes, the likes of Wilfred and Diddy, who we'll come on to in a little bit of a section, little bit. I've been listening to some people from who watch French football a little bit more. Um, Adam White has commented. Uh, I've read some of his comments as well. He said he's basically, quote unquote, ready for the Premier League, which is great to hear from our perspective. He will be a big player, he's saying, in the future, but it will take a few years to, it will take a few months for him to really bed in. So you're looking at the likes of a Suyuncu situation where he'll stay, he'll play his position, he'll learn for the squad, he'll build, and he'll come into the first team. So something he's fantastic about is counter-attacks. As the ball's coming towards him, he can nick a ball, get the ball, play it forward, or dribble with it. We'll come on to some of the dribbling statistics later, but this is an area that he's very, very good going backwards, going forward, sorry. Getting the ball, breaking it up, and then playing going forwards. So he mainly plays as a central defensive midfielder or a centre mid. So you're looking at the likes of probably a Wilfred in Didi over a Yuri Tillemans. I know them two are long, playing alongside each other, but I think this is probably where he's going to fit in. Destroying the ball, breaking breaking stuff up, just like N'Golo Kante used to do. I'm not making any suggestions. We know how much we love N'Golo Kante. And playing the ball forward. One of the things that's actually better about him than Wilfred and Didi so far that we've seen, because you've probably seen the videos online on YouTube. If not, go up there have a look and search for um, Samari videos, is his ability to get the ball, drive forward, push past players. And this is going to be vital for us. His phys physicality is something, that is something that we're going to really, really use as well. However, he's not scored in the Premier League, but we, I think with six foot two, he brings some well-needed height into that midfield. And that's one thing you could say about Wilfred and Diddy. He's not, he's a phenomenal player, but sometimes he's not the most physical. I'm hoping that this is where Samari could come in and improve that. Okay, so the next bit is where does he fit in to Leicester City? I mean, we looked at some of the formation, Bren Rodgers. I've, I've done two examples, one four at the back and one three at the back. We can kind of alternate between those positions because of who we've got at the moment in the squad, but I'd like to bring it on to that in a second. The first position I can see in him play is in a three at the back situation like we've got on here. So you can see we've got a three at the back for Fana, Evans and Siunchu, probably how we're going to set up next season if everybody's more fit. Then you've got Madison probably playing a bit higher in that cam roll with Samori alongside Tillemans. Tillemans, again, then playing alongside like Ndidi did, playing alongside each other. Samori doing more of the attack, the work going backwards and defensive side, and then Tillemans going forward and being more the attacking player. Then you've got wingbacks like Castagna, Pereira, and whoever else we bring in in the transfer window, hoping it's somebody else, either a right winger or a um, left back as well that will come in and then bomb along the sides as well with Nacho and Vardy up top. This could be one formation I think could work for us fantastically. The other formation that I've gone for is like a 4-2-3-1, a traditional one as we find it. So you can see here, four at the back in Evans, Fafana, Pereira and Castagna, then Samore and Tillemans alongside each other. I think this is how we're going to see a lot of formations, just like we've seen Wilfred in Didi and Tillemans forming that in 
impeccable duo together. Madison playing through the middle, but this time we've got two out-and-out wingers in or Brighton and Barnes. Barnes play on the left. We know he can do some dangerous, dangerous work with Castagna on one side. And then all Brighton and Pereira, I think, could link up quite well as well. And then your man, Jamie Vardy, up top. Or we'll see who we get in the transfer window. Or Kelechi Nacho could slip in there, right in there as well. So the next thing we're going to look at is Samore versus Ndidi. Who are they? What are they both better at? Let's get right into it. Okay, we've got the spider shop up on display for you just to show these two. And bearing in mind, I'm not trying to compare them just yet. We know when Leicester play when we're left to bring them in, they're not the finished article. They're going to be improved and improved. However, 45 to 52 is still a fantastic achievement in itself. You've seen the lives of um, the play, players such as um, Soyuncu and Justin and Madison and Barnes develop under Brendan Rodgers and take their game to the next level. So I'm excited to see what Samori could do going forward. But let's just look at the statistics for now. Physicality, Wilfred Ndidi is slightly more. And again, that's just because he's playing in the Premier League. I do think Samori could potentially overtake him because... You're looking at the likes of how big he is, how the strength of him as well. I think that could really play into his hands. Passing, they're both very similar, which is fantastic. I mean, Wilfred and Diddy's passing is quite good. However, I think a lot of the time he does tend to pass it relatively short to somebody like a Tillemans or over to the wing who could carry and dribble it forward. With Samore, he would be more likely to get the ball and dribble it forward. We'll come into that in a second. But passing, fantastic. Vision, Wilfred and Diddy has slightly ahead. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I just think playing in League 1 compared to playing in the Premier League, you you have you have these kind of experiences. And I think that's going to play vitally into our hands next season. I mean, vision is going to be something that we bought in the likes of uh, Suyuncu and Fafana. And th they had this vision to go forward. And this is something that I think Samori could have developed as well. You can the attacking options as well with... Wolfram and Diddy is slightly more attacking from the statistics. However, from the from the eyes view, we know that Samori could definitely do that. We've seen some of the videos that have been put out there already. And with a bit of training, a bit of practice, as we were saying before, I think he could be a really, really good player. You look at the likes of the dribbling. This is where Wolfram and Diddy is slightly ahead. I think give it another year or so. This is an area where I think he can definitely improve in Samori. He can definitely... Take, take that chunk out because if you look at a lot, a lot of the videos, that's what he's doing. Even though he's not scoring many goals, he's definitely, definitely a player that one of the reasons why we're buying him is his dribbling ability. Then on to heading, Wilfred and Diddy has this. However, I think in the future, Samori could do that as well. You're looking at these slightly taller, slightly more physical. I think in the box, this is where, an area where I think we could improve definitely. From corners, especially with the likes of Tillemans and or, uh, Madison, and I don't want to slate, especially Tillemans, I don't want to slate him, but the deliveries this year have not been as good as we would expect. So with somebody like Samori in the box, a big physical player, even if and he was getting his head on the end of it, would be fantastic. Also, if he's not, the fact that he's physical in the box could lead more players coming towards him and leave more space in behind. And then defending, it's Wolverine and Diddy is ahead, which I don't think anybody's really that surprised. I mean, in, in, in Diddy's one of the best, I'd argue, in the world at the moment at doing that position. But overall, I said a fantastic chart considering, again, he's two years younger, playing in a slightly centre midfield role compared to a and CDM role. And overall, I think he's going to be absolutely fantastic for us. Anyway, guys, that was a little bit of a preview of Samore. What do you think? We'll do a video live when this is coming out. And make sure to be subscribed for that one, because that's going to be a hell of a video to go live and just announce. And we'll do a lot more of this analysis right here, right then. But make sure to keep it subscribed to be on the 90 YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and getting so far. If you could like, subscribe, all that good stuff, we'd really, really appreciate it. And we'll see everybody in the next video. So goodbye.